Hey guys, a, another week for our off-season Christmas program. Uh, this is for most of you guys, your last week before we integrate back into the football training. So really important that we get the footies out, get the football boots out for all three sessions and get um, a fair bit of the change of direction work and kicking volumes in to ensure that you transition back into the main program uh, either next week or the week after. Just going to hide those. Okay, let's get into it. So starting off the week with a moderate session, it's the easiest session uh, of the week apart from the top-up run session that we've got on Saturday. So there's four running sessions this week. Uh, and we kick off with just the five-minute easy base jog, four-minute mobility. Then we've got some plyometrics. So important to focus on stiff ankles with this one we want as much elasticity coming from the ankle complex not from the knees or the hips so keep the knees and and uh, hips straight on the ankling drills and the pogo jumps Got opportunity to practice using your ankles and then for the single leg hops and the 90 degree hurdle jumps that's where you focus on triple extension so power through the ankle knee and hip all working as one our speed prep, but just focus on your first three steps. Um, we've got an opportunity to really generate a lot of power through the pull-through phase with the feet as well as the st strong arm swing. So we've got five five-minute efforts, have plenty of recovery. Remember, rest period allows intensity with those, and, and we definitely want intensity with any, any time we're working on acceleration. Then we'll choose three of our uh, change of direction drills. You're either practicing your... Uh, electricity in the feet so lots of quick feet like ladder type drills where you're on your toes and you're um, generating as much speed as possible over short quick steps or you're focusing on your power like cutting where you'll spend more time on the ground but you're really pushing the ground away from you generating high force so practice uh, your change direction technique and then we're into it 2k total to start of football work so ideally this week be like all weeks it's great if you can get together I uh, know you guys have been organising behind the scenes, so try and get involved in those sessions with, as a group because you'll get much uh, much better quality out of your football training and obviously it's a lot more fun as well. So um, here we want to get ground balls, so you, you want to get kicking, all different types of kicking, long distance punch kicks, snap kicks, all your different types of kicks that you normally do at training and then mix up, change direction, so off the mark, lateral work, uh, kicking at speed, all those sort of things. So we just try to mimic training as much as you can. Total of 2K or 10 minutes. Then five 40 meter sprints building up in intensity. So we've got a 70% effort. So 70% of your max velocity, your max speed over 40 meters, then 80%, 90%. Then we're back down to 70 as a bit of a feel good technique rep just to accommodate that 90% effort. And then go to 95. And then if you're feeling good, go 100%. And we're allowing for a lot of recovery here. So every three minutes, so you get plenty of rest. And we're looking for that speed exposure, particularly at 90 and 95% and above, which um, would be what you would get in a game. Then we just finish up the session at talking pace, 20 minute feel good jog. Feel free to mix that up as much as you like. Uh, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds walk, 40 20s, 50 10 however you like to do it, 2010, fart leg interval-based sessions or just run to certain targets like light poles and uh, street signs and those sort of things. So that can be done on the street. Uh, obviously, if you have any lower limb issues, then just keep it on the track or on the oval. Uh, but that's just some top-up volume work. Uh, don't worry too much about work rate, which is getting ex some extra jog, aerobic jogging work in there. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions, like always, reach out either via phone call or message on the Team Builder app. Cheers.